Welcome back to Wave Docker. Another The Penguin review. Just watched episode three titled Bliss of The Penguin on HBO Max. Um, this is my favorite episode so far. Um, incredible open, incredible opening with Victor, his family, and his girlfriend. Um, obviously, spoilers ahead. Um, it opened up. I thought it was just, you know, Victor. It, it, it just it, it, it escaped my mind. The way that the episode was set up, I forgot that, you know, he lost his parents. He lost his, his sister in the flooding. So I was like, okay, you know, Victor, you know, is hanging out with, you know, family. And you're ready to hang out with his girlfriend and his friends. Uh, well, I was just out hanging out somewhere. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, why are they showing, like, Bella Royale stuff? You know, like, she's kind of taking a back seat. And they're like, oh, wait, you know, fireworks are about to go off at City Hall. And I was like, oh, shit, nice. So then they went to see the fireworks. But then... The Riddler's explosion happened. It's like, oh my god! And then seeing the flood from another angle, obviously, like we saw it um, with the Riddler's commentary in the Batman film. You know, basically, you see the perspective of the bat of Batman and Officer Martinez in the Riddler's apartment, and then it just goes, you know, seeing it go everywhere, like at Gotham Square Garden, how it floods in there, and then you know that whole end sequence there. We're familiar with that, but seeing it from an alternative angle uh, was fantastic. The callback to it later in the club. Uh, I think she's having somewhat of a, you know, panic attack, PTSD attack. Um, thought that was incredible. Victor's become somewhat of a, I mean, obviously he's a main character, but I, honestly, I feel like you could argue that he is, um, like, just as much as a main character of this as, um, oh, as, um, Oz. And I guess maybe Sophia, but I think, honestly, it's probably, like, Oz, and then, like, Victor and then Sophia like showing the effects that you know getting involved in this sort of thing as you know a misguided youth not to say that Victor is misguided but you know like getting involved with stuff like this obviously has its fair shares of risks and telling that story from his perspective is very interesting um but yeah this episode was cool introducing Bliss you know the other drug besides drops like this like bloody whatever the hell mushroom at Sophia, um, that they took in Arkham, and that's why Sophia's familiar with it. I thought that was great. Introducing the triad of, um, the powers of, you know, the gangs, like the, um, the guys in Chinatown, whatever the hell that guy's name was, the guy that they met in the club. I thought he was cool. Um, confronting Vito, Vito, about the affair. I thought that was a great scene, like Penguin, you know, I was really snapping into that intensity, you know, feeling... He hates to feel insulted and then it's not even there. And it's it's nice to see Sophie and Oz develop somewhat of a, you know, working friendship slash relationship, probably more of a working relationship than a friendship. But then I'm really curious to see how the next episode is going to go because when they got confronted by the Maroney chick and like Victor swooped in and hit the guy out of the car and then took Oz, they didn't take Sophia. So is that going to create a rift or is there going to be some sort of an understanding there? Because I'd like to see, I, I thought they, they work well off of each other. Like I said, I mean, you know, Colin Farrell's a fantastic character, as is uh, Kristen Milotti. Um, so seeing them work off of one another is was great in this episode, and it was, it was awesome. But I'm just curious to see how that dynamic looks going forward. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, what else? Um, yeah, it's a really good episode for Victor's development, like, you know, going into interactions he has with his speech impediment uh that interaction with the cop when they were parked outside of the chinatown uh place they were going to to meet up with the the triad people um when the cop like told me to get out of the car and was like hey you know you're parked in whatever the hell and then he's like and then he found some money and victor's like hey what what money and you know paying off the cop that showed both the corruption in the gotham city police um which, you know, may not be as much of a thing anymore, but it's just kind of maybe just a, you know, overall commentary on just the fact that a lot of police officers are corrupt and Gotham, you know, being one of the prime uh, elements of that city is the corrupt police officers. But I thought that was a great scene. Keeping Victor on his toes. <sighs> and how is he beginning to pick up on some things that, you know, Oz has sort of, sort of shown him throughout this show. But, um, yeah, I mean, just another great episode. Uh, I thought the editing on this one was fantastic. Um, yeah, that's definitely my favorite episode of... There's been, what, three? Of the three, definitely my favorite. Uh, I'm really excited for next episode. 
Um, any other points that I want to get across? <sighs> Not really, no. Great editing. Um, getting a story, you know, an episode primarily about Victor is appreciated. He's, definitely, he's probably my favorite character in this. If not Sophia. I mean, they're all great. Like, Oz, Sophia, Victor, they're such great characters. Um, I just love Christian Milani. I, love, I need to watch her in more stuff. She is so awesome in this. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Great episode, once again. Uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, and watch this show. Um, Matt Reeves. The Goat. Uh, yeah, peace out.